Hello and welcome to this episode of the English Idioms series. Today we're going to look at the idiom to get your teeth into something. So as always, we'll begin by thinking about the meaning with the dictionary definition. We're going to look at a few pronunciation features that will help you to say this idiom in a more natural way. And we'll finish with some examples so that you can get a feeling for how you might be able to use this idiom yourself. So first of all, then the dictionary definition, which comes from Cambridge Online. So to get your teeth into something, means to deal with something or become involved in something with great energy and enthusiasm. So if you can imagine um, somebody puts a delicious meal in front of you and you're really, really hungry, that feeling that you might have of wanting to literally get your teeth into the meal, as in to eat the meal really quickly. So hopefully that gives you a feeling of the energy and enthusiasm in this idiom. You literally want to take a bite out of the thing. So it's got a kind of energetic and positive feeling about it. So, for example, we might use this in a context of some work that you've got to do or a new work that you're enthusiastic about, of course, we're saying here, um, or a new hobby or something that you're interested in and you really want to get started. You want to get your teeth into it. So thinking about pronunciation, then we've got a few things that we can look at with this one. So as always, we've got that possible weak form of two, which is to, to get, repeat after me, to get, good. And then we've got a couple of interesting elements of connected speech. So first of all, with get and your, if I'm speaking really slowly, I can pronounce these in an unconnected way to get your. And in order to do that, I really have to clip that T, get your. And it's quite a lot of effort, to be honest. So it is possible to clip the T, get your, and to have this as two separate words. However, I'm going to read it out in a more natural way, see if you can hear the change that's happening to get you. And if I go weak, to get you. To get you. So hopefully what you're hearing is a change of sound. The T and the Y, when they're connecting in an instance like this, it sounds like a CH as in the beginning of the word chicken, to get you, to get your teeth into something. So it is possible to say, and I'm going to try and not go weak with anything here, to get your teeth into something. But that's a lot of effort and it slows it down. So you may hear people pronounce it that way, but it's probably more likely you're going to hear people using weak forms and using that CH to get your teeth into something. So repeat after me, to get your teeth into something. Good, so what we've covered there so far is the weak T. We've got a connection between get and your, get you. And of course, there we've heard the weak form of your, which is you. So we've got that weak form, so repeat after me, you. And then we've got another connection, which is a little bit more standard in terms of how often you're going to hear it. And that's the teeth into or teeth into, because the TH jumps across to join because there's a vowel at the beginning of into or inter. So teeth into. And of course, we've got that weak into becoming into in the weak form. So strong into, weak into. Oh, there's so much happening in this idiom. So let's run through that again, piece by piece, so that you can really get your tongue around it. So first, repeat after me, we'll do the weak forms. T, and then Y, inter. So I'm going to say those three in a row really quickly. I want you to repeat. T, 
y inter. Again, t y inter. Good. So they're the weak forms, and then we've got two lots of connection. Get ya. Teeth inter. Okay, repeat after me one more time. Get ya. Teeth inter. Good. So let's string the whole thing back together. Repeat after me, nice and loud, to get your teeth into something. One more time, to get your teeth into something. Fantastic. I think you've hopefully mastered this idiom and indeed some really interesting elements of English pronunciation there. So good work. Thinking about some examples then. Number one, she's really getting her teeth into that new job. Number two, I'm looking for a new hobby to get my teeth into. Now, a couple of things worth noticing. First of all, in example one, the way that we've put this idiom in terms of time is by changing our verb get. So she is getting present continuous. She's getting her teeth into that new job. So this is something that's happening around now. It's begun. It's not finished. So it's in progress. And that's why we've changed the idiom there with the word get. However, with number two, we've got a different time focus. I'm looking for. So the I'm looking for is right now a new hobby to get my teeth into. So that's in, in infinitive form because it's a thing that is not yet in time. The time element of this sentence is the I'm looking for. I'm looking for something to do, basically. So there are your two ways that you can potentially use this idiom. Number one, you can actually change the form of the word get to tell us when in time we're thinking. Or like number two, you can combine it with another verb and use the infinitive form of the idiom. So you've got two ways that you can potentially do this. So that's fun. It means you've got a bit of flexibility. And another thing that's worth noting, um, when I read out sentence number one, I went with the weak form. She's getting her teeth into that new job, into. With number two, because the word into is at the end of the sentence, you're much more likely to hear people using the stronger form to get my teeth into. So that's just a, an interesting thing to note about pronunciation. So over to you. Have a think about an example sentence you could make using this idiom and then leave it in the comments below. And I can give you some feedback on the grammar and vocabulary you've used and also whether or not the context feels relevant. So have a go. I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and click like and subscribe. Check out the playlist for lots of other fun idioms. And if you go to the homepage, you'll find lots of the materials to help you with your English language. Lots of stuff for you to get your teeth into. Thanks for watching and have a great day.